by default the tracker pad is just going to change your focal position but as soon as you press set you get the mouse cursor and that's where you can then go and move it onto something like chroma and select it and then you can use your arrows here on the left to change to a different setting. You press set again to get your cursor back and that's where you can adjust any of these other things so your acoustic power, your persistence, your level of smoothing or edge enhancement, your grayscale curve, your dynamic range, um, you can even adjust the sector here so you can make it wider if you want to. It is going to ex slow your frame rate a little so if you see up here 33 hertz as I reduce my scanning angle my frame rate is improving so you could slow yourself down a little with a higher um, angle the greater scanning angle but to be honest any time you're looking at a big angle like this you're probably doing a sweep in an early pregnancy trying to spot tiny gestation sacs um, or possibly sort of doing a, a rough count of gestation sacs in which instance there's probably not a lot of rapid movement going on unless she's panting so you probably don't care about frame rate could be useful if you were also looking to do a crown rump length and, and the puppy was exceeding the width but also at that point you'll be able to see the heart and that's where a slower frame rate could cause a little bit of blurriness in the heart your tissue harmonics will probably be on by default so your frequency will be prefixed by an H. If you turn that off with the THI button on the far right, just above your print button, can you see what a difference that makes? So that's your fundamental imaging without any tissue harmonics. Turn your tissue harmonics on and that's a much better image. So on a machine like this, tissue harmonics, you can really, really see the difference compared to sort of lower end machines where you kind of take it or leave it, it doesn't always make so much of a difference.